What do we have here? A box. Man, I love boxes. Let's get this sucker open. Uh, I don't know how to open this box. I suck at opening boxes, apparently. What is it? What is it? What is it? Okay, it's a Rook. I don't remember. Oh, I know what this is. Oh, I'm so excited. This is such a cool one. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. <sighs> Here we go. Okay. Okay. It's a little heavier than I thought it was going to be. Okay. All right. This is the Rook. What damn number is this? This is the Rook M105 in titanium. It's got this little stupid thing on here. We're going to get rid of that. Boy, it's got a pretty nice feel to it already. Okay, tag off. Can't resell it now. Not new in box. Okay, we're going to pop it for the first time. Okay, a little lighter detent than I'm expecting, but I don't hate it. I love this kind of geometric angles on the uh, frame. It's titanium frame. What's the blade? N690. You know, this was supposed to not be N690. This was supposed to be CPM 154. You know what? We're not going to complain too much. These are kind of hard to find. I don't think... I'm not sure if they make them anymore. I don't know. Definitely a nice sound to it. Let's give it a feel. Oh, that's such a good feel. That's such a good feel. I love the backspacer. That's neat. Kind of cut down, kind of a, like a trough. And then the little lines on it. I assume it's titanium, but I don't know. I know the handles are titanium. And the N690 blade. You know, it kind of has a um, Koenig Arius kind of a look. Let's see. Okay, we got we got a lock bar with a steel insert. We got a flipper. Can we can we flick it without the flipper? Almost seems like you could, boy. You know what? I think I'm putting in a thumb stud, or I'm going to cut a little hole here. Because man, it would be great to have this thing uh, thumb open. Really nice action, though. Yeah, it's it's going to smooth out really nice too. You can just tell. Is it drop shetty? Not quite. Oh, boy, it's really close. That's nice. Okay. Well, uh, the pocket clip is a little ugly. We'll see what we do with that. I might get rid of that end. I'm going to do a little work on that clip probably. Or get a nice titanium one to replace it. That could be too. As usual with Rook though, great action. I like it a lot. Uh, great, um, big, flat face to do some work on. Maybe some um, anodizing, polish it up, or maybe some, um, um, what do you call it? Some eggshell with the wire brush, something like that. We'll do something cool with it. All right, well, that's the unboxing of the Rook P105 uh, titanium one. Have a nice day. Have a nice day indeed. All right, here's that uh, Rook P105. Um, I had a quick stud on it, and I took it off, and I'm trying out this new, like, uh, like a saddle quick stud thing for opening with the thumb and the finger. It doesn't stick out quite so far, but I don't know if I like the look of it. It's okay. I don't know. Eh, who knows? We'll see. We'll see if I keep that. I didn't drill a hole through it because I remembered I don't actually have the shit to drill a hole through uh, hardened steel too well. Um, as you can notice, the uh, thumb uh, flipper tab is smaller, quite a bit smaller. This whole uh, flipper tab area right here is smaller, and the choil is bigger. I embiggened I this choil area and smallened this bit because it stuck out too far. And I think it came from this, so if you follow this line, this line that's coming down right here, 
that line came straight out and kind of went down like that, and that was what that was. So I took that down just because it was unnecessarily big, and I just wanted to waste, you know, a couple hours doing uh, metal cutting for no apparent reason. Uh, what else? Did we do anything else? I didn't do any 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 um, surfacing on it. I didn't do any kind of finishing on it. Oh, I did the new pocket clip, so that looks a little better. This is an aluminum one. It's kind of... I don't know. It's okay. I'll probably get a nicer tie one, tie, uh, titanium one eventually, but I don't know. It's really nice though. So smooth. Is it drop shutty? Let's see. No, it's not. What if I put a drop of oil right in there? Let's see. Would that make it drop shutty? Okay. Not quite, but man, it's so close to drop shutty. Well, if you get it down past a certain point, it is drop shutty. Super duper smooth. Makes a nice sound. I, like, I can't stop opening it and closing it. It's like, obsessively. The thumb area is a little slippery. I, uh, I rounded this off. This was like a long rectangle shape, but I rounded this thing off and maybe I put uh, too much uh, smoothness on this edge right there. Probably should have left it a little sharper so the thumb could catch on it better. So I might uh, take it back off and put a little more flatness there so my thumb has something to catch on. If you press down into it though, it catches. It's got kind of a little bit of a funny hollow feel to it because it's so um, there's so much material taken out of the inside here let's see I don't know if we can see it can we see that I'll zoom in those cutaways on the inside and how much that lightens it up I think it kind of give it some gives it some of the acoustic that it has when it clacks open the detent could be a little stronger. Otherwise, man, it's a great knife. Good size, too. Uh, here's a uh, sheepdog. Regular size sheepdog. So, I mean, this is a good size knife. This isn't some baby knife. Good three and a half, three point six, three point seven 3.6, 3.7 inches, something like that on the blade. And here's a big, pretty darn big knife. Let's see, how do they compare? Yeah, they're pretty close. It's a hair smaller. This Tucson here is freaking big. That's a chunk too, man. Probably close to twice as heavy. This thing is so light for how big it is. Anyway, that's what I've done with this Rook M105 uh, TZ in the interim. So I thought I was done, but then I remembered I never mentioned the harpoon cut I did. So I cut this part down right here so that this part would be left and you'd have this little kind of harpoon look. What does that do for your, you know, uh, blade utility? Not a damn thing. It just looks cooler because it's a harpoon. Because fucking harpoons rule. Back to your regularly scheduled program. Rook P105. Have a nice day.